showing off just how low some of those branches are hanging. And Halbert, a pretty tall guy as well, kind of shrinks that window for him a little bit with a higher release point on his arm. We see a great flex shot from Jakob here through the gap and he's pushed pretty far up there, you see. With the smallest bit of flip, it's just beautiful. And Jakob, this is an aggressive shot. He's trying to get through the woods and over the wall to get inbounds. And that has just not made it. Leaving himself with the same approach, but much shorter this time. Should be able to make the correction here. Although that has gone too far, he's gonna be Obi on the far side. Unless this rolls back in, which it does not. Albert, or excuse me, Jakub, is having to take another approach from here. This looks like a very similar shot to his previous one. Little to no adjustment made with that different disc. I think looking like another harp in his hand. He's left this one wider to the left, although coming in very fast again. Tragedy striking for Jakob here on hole seven. These island holes, particularly in mentally stressful moments, can really cause trouble even for the best players in the world. I hope to see Jakob take a breath here. This is, I believe, his 10th shot. And he's gonna be parked for an 11. That is gonna be a huge setback in his chances, both for the win, but also just for the second place finish. Yeah, very good point. And Dennis, obviously being a smart player, he really knows his game, knows the course, and has made a great game plan. 